Okay, today in this video I want to show the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This is the Sprint version. And I want to show it running the newest Android version, Android 4.4 KitKat. So the first thing I want to do is just go over here into settings and show you that it is running KitKat. So an about phone. And I'm running KitKat through CyanogenMod version 11. Uh, Google came out a week or two ago saying that they're not going to provide updates for the Galaxy Nexus. So there's not going to be an official KitKat on here, but you can see through CyanogenMod 11 I'm able to run KitKat nonetheless. So I'll show you these Easter eggs real quick. So there's the KitKat Android. You long press and hold on that, and it brings you into this interactive tile. It shows you all the old OS versions. So you have Honeycomb, uh, Frozen Yogurt, uh, Gingerbread, Kit Kat, Jelly Bean, uh, Ice Cream Sandwich, Eclair, Donuts. Uh, I guess that's a cupcake. So that's the Easter egg. If you're in your home screen, you can slide over. Well, let me get to my main home screen. So you can see this is my main home screen. You can see right there that dot is highlighted. And then once you slide over one more time to the right, uh, to the left, it brings you into your Google Now. So if you don't like that Google Now, you don't you want to keep the KitKat launcher, but you don't you don't want that to be there. You can go over here into settings from the from the uh, home screen. You can turn Google Now off. And then you can see once I try to scroll over, it won't let me scroll over. Um, I, I like having the ability to, to scroll over into that Google Now, so I like to keep that. Of course, if, if you want to uh, if you want to still have your Google Now and not have to have it there. You could always just put on a third-party launcher like getting uh, Nova or Apex or whatever from, from the Play Store. So if you long press and hold on the screen here, you can see how from here you can choose your widgets. It lets you choose all the different widgets that you might might have here. Also if you long press on the home screen it brings you into your wallpaper selector here. And this signaging mod has included the the KitKat wallpaper, stock wallpapers that comes like with the uh, with the Nexus 5 and has some very nice high resolution wallpapers here. So I want to show you a couple of uh, apps that are specific to KitKat or that comes with it. You can get these on on 4.3 now uh, but this comes specifically with it like for instance what I want to show is this stock email app in the stock email app, now it it works just like the Gmail app. And this is my exchange email from work. And I can take uh, this at this email, slide it, and it's deleted. And uh, so this works and looks just like just like the Gmail. You can see here how it has the letters of the first name, first letter of the first name of the person that sends it to you. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me show you the dollar real quick as well. So on your dollar, whenever you, uh, whenever you put in the numbers here, and you start uh, start putting in your numbers, and it starts showing your people up above here, and then you can just click on them, and it'll call those people for you. Uh, so I just wanted to show that KitKat can run on the Galaxy Nexus. It's running pretty smooth. This is a very early build, so it's not perfect yet. There's a few things that aren't exactly right, but it's it's running pretty smoothly. Uh, at this point for being such an early build. I'll put a link in the description uh, to the to the XDA thread where the developer has is, is, uh, been developing this unofficial version of CM11 and, CM and so you can go over there and check that, out, check that out if you want to. Like I said so far it's running pretty smooth and I'm enjoying KitKat on my Galaxy Nexus. Thanks for watching today.